Hi all, today we'll discuss top 100 Spring Boot real-time interview questions. So what all are the latest interview questions related for the Spring Boot? So we have collected top 100 interview questions related for the Java with the Spring Boot. So here we categorize with the different, different basic uh, and category. So we have a basic concept. So in that basic concept we have 10. Then dependency management related interview questions then configuration related interview questions, then Spring Boot CLI related interview questions, then Spring Boot actuators, data access, restful web services, then security. So what all are the modules are there? We are covering here for this interview questions related for Spring Boot only. So the testings related and microservices based and advanced topic messaging and then performance and scalability for deployment, real-time scenarios and miscellaneous, then some design and architectures, and then common error and debugging, then integrated with the front end, then monitor, monitoring and management. So these all these all are the hundred interview questions related for the Java with the Spring Boot. So this top hundred Spring Boot interview questions, which is with the different categories. So the first question is what is a Spring Boot? The second is how does a Spring Boot differ from the Spring Framework? So this is the most important questions. The third one is explain the main features of a Spring Boot. What all are the main features in a Spring Boot? And the fourth, fourth question is what is the advantage of using a Spring Boot? Why we are using a Spring Boot? What all are the advantages and all? And the fifth is what is a Spring Boot starter? When to use a Spring Boot starter? And then how do you create a Spring Boot application? And the next question is explain the role of application.property and application.yaml. So these all are the basic interview questions related for a Spring Boot. And then what is the use of added Spring Boot application annotation? And then how you enable a Spring Boot project to work with a spring mbc so it's a very important question this one now coming for the dependency management so what is the spring boot dependency management plugin what is the spring boot dependency management plugins and the next is how do you manage dependency in a spring boot project the next is what is the difference between at the rate component skin and at the rate entity skin it's a very important question this one. component scan and entity scan and the next question is how does a spring boot automatically configure data source very very important questions automatically configure data source and then what is the spring boot dev tools is also very important so these all are related for dependency management now coming for configuration so what all are the configuration related interview questions based on a spring boot so how do you define the property in a spring boot and the next question is what all are the profile in a spring boot very very important question this one and then how does you use different configuration file for different environment and then explain how to externalize this configuration in a spring boot very very important question and what is the use of at rate configuration property and how it is used annotation so we have a multiple annotations and all are there so that we will have to use now we will go for the spring boot cli so what is a spring boot cli how do you install and use the spring boot cli and what all are the main command available in a spring boot cli very important question now we have a actuator so a spring boot actuators so in that they will ask what is a spring boot actuators how do you enable a Spring Boot actuator in your project? What all are the some key actuator endpoint? And how can we secure this actuator endpoint? And explain the custom actuator endpoint. So these all are related for the Spring Boot actuator. Now coming for the data access. So we have some data access related Spring Boot interview questions. So this is a what is a Spring Boot uh, like what is a Spring Data JPA? So in a Spring Boot we have our Spring Data JPA. So what is this and when to use? 
then how do you configure a Spring Data JPA in a Spring Boot? What all are the repository in a Spring Data JPA? It's a very important question. Explain the difference between CRUD repository and JPA repository. How you handle the transaction in a Spring Boot? Very, very important questions. So these all are related for data access. Now coming for the RESTful web services. So if you'll go for the RESTful web services, so this is, these all are the common interview questions. How do you create a RESTful web service using a Spring Boot? And then what is REST controller? What is at the rate REST controller? And explain the purpose of at the rate request mapping and its variant. And the next question is, how do you handle exception in a Spring Boot REST services? And the next question is, what is response entity? So these all are related for the RESTful web services. Now coming for the security. So we will have a security related interview process related for the Spring Boot only. So how do you secure a Spring Boot application? So very, very important question. Then what is a Spring security? How do you implement basic authentication in a Spring Boot? And what is JWT and how do you implement in this a Spring Boot? Explain this, explain the use of pre-authorized and secure annotation. It's a very, very important question, this one. Pre-authorized and secure annotations. What is this and when to use the security part. Now coming for the testing. So we have, how do you test the Spring Boot application? What is a Spring Boot test? Explain this use of a Spring Boot test annotation. And what is the, how do you test a Spring Boot REST controller? And what are all the different type of test in a Spring Boot? Now coming for the microservice related. So this microservice having, uh, while be using for this Spring Boot with microservices. So these all are the common question. What is microservice? How do you build this microservice using a Spring Boot? What is a Spring Cloud? What all are the components we will use in a Spring Cloud? How do you use a Spring Boot with a Spring Cloud? What all are the common patterns used in a microservice architectures? Now coming for the advanced topic in a Spring Boot. So what all are the role of a Spring Boot in microservice architectures? Explain circuit breaker pattern and its implementation in a Spring Boot. What is Hystrix? And how do you implement distributed tracing in a Spring Boot? What is the use of a Spring Cloud config? So these all are the topics related for advanced. We can say, so here, what is the Spring Boot Cloud config is a very important question. What is Hystrix? What is circuit breakers and all? So they will, uh, they may ask related for these questions. Now coming for the messaging. So how do we implement messaging in a Spring Boot? What is a Spring Boot support of Kafka, support for Kafka? How do you use RabbitMQ in a Spring Boot? Either we will go for the Kafka, RabbitMQ, JMS listeners or any others. So depends on that, they will ask. Explain the at the rate Kafka listener, at the rate RabbitMQ, Rabbit listeners annotations. So if you are using for RabbitMQ, Rabbit listener will be there. If you are using Kafka, then we have a Kafka listener. So this is a very important question. What is Kafka listener, Rabbit listener? Coming for the performance and scalability, scalability. So these all are the questions related for that. So how do you optimize the performance of a Spring Boot application annotation? A Spring Boot application. And the, what is the importance of caching in a Spring Boot? What all are the caches? How we will enable the caches? And then why, why, how do you implement caching in a Spring Boot? And explain the use of at the rate cacheable annotation. So inside that, all the common annotations also we are covering. It depends on the modules. Now coming for this deployment. So the deployment, how do you deploy a Spring Boot application? What is a Spring Boot support for Docker? How you are creating a Docker image for the Spring Boot application? Explain the use of a Spring Boot with Kubernetes. So these all are related for Docker's Kubernetes deployments and all. Now coming for the real-time scenarios. So that real-time scenario that we ask, 
for the Spring Boot, like how you handle large file upload and download in a Spring Boot. Large file upload and download in a Spring Boot. How do you handle concurrency in a Spring Boot application? It's a very, very important question. How do you implement pagination and sorting as a Spring Boot application? It's also a very important question. What, what are some strategies for database migrations in a Spring Boot? It's a very important question. How do you handle scheduled task in a Spring Boot? So how we will handle scheduled task in a Spring Boot? Now coming for the miscellaneous, so some of the miscellaneous interview questions also related for a Spring Boot. So it's related for the, all the top modules, miscellaneous. So what is a Spring Boot support for GraphQL? Very, very important question. And how do we use WebFlux in a Spring Boot? So WebFlux is the latest features in a Spring Boot where we can use uh, non-blockings and all. So explain the reactive programming model in a Spring Boot. Very important question. How do you integrate a Spring Boot with the third party library? very very important question this one now what are the some best practice for logging in a spring boot now coming for the design patterns or design architectures related to spring boot interview questions so how do you design a scalable a spring boot application what is 12 factor methodology and its relevance in a spring boot how do you handle exception globally in this Spring Boot application? It's a very important question. And then explain the use of controller advice and notation. What is controller advice? When to use? So it's a very important question. Now, what is API gateway and how we implement it in a Spring Boot? Now the common errors and debugging related interview questions related for a Spring Boot. So how do you troubleshoot a fail a Spring Boot application startup. What all are the common error faced during the Spring Boot development? How do you enable details logging for debugging and in a Spring Boot? What all are the different logging level in a Spring Boot? Very very important question. How do you handle memory leakage in a Spring Boot? Very very important question. Now coming for the integrations with front end so while we develop the spring boot back end though so we need to integrate with the front end so for that how do you serve a static content with a spring boot how do you integrate a spring boot with angular or react explain the use of theme leaf in a spring boot when to use what is the purpose of at the rate cross origin annotation is a very very important question how do you implement a web socket in a Spring Boot? Very important question. Now coming for the monitoring and management. So how do you monitor your application, a Spring Boot application? What all are the some popular tools for a Spring Boot monitoring? And how do you set up the Prometheus and Grafana in a Spring Boot for the monitoring and management? And what is micrometer? And how it is used in a spring boot the next is how to handle application metrics in spring boot so these all are the very very important questions if you prepare this top 100 in uh, spring boot interview questions then easily you will crack all a spring boot related interview uh course interviews so if they have requirement with a spring boot with messaging kafka or microservices or any ui or any database connectivities or any rest api or any security or any any others uh, transactions any others monitoring deployment or any things design architectures integration any things related for this of the uh, spring boot related uh, scenarios questions and all so easily you will be correct the answers for this so these all are the top 100 real time interview questions just prepare for this and uh, if you want you can take this reference also yeah thank you